Le président. You may be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. On. The court is now back in session. The floor is once again given to the political lawyers for civil parties to continue their document presentation and you may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Hey, um, thank you, Mr. President. Once again, good morning, Mr. President, your honors, and everyone in and around the court room. The next document is D22. Le prochain document que je souhaite présenter est, porte la cote D22. 1248. At ERN in Khmer. 00. 5-2-3-4-4-9-4-9 This civil party stated that between 1970 and 1975 I was a student at Tultumpung Primary School in Phnom Penh and on 17 April 1975, my family was, evac was ordered by the Khmer Rouge to leave Phnom Penh. I could not recall the address of my house. They made an announcement for all Phnom Penh city dwellers to leave les soldats ont for à tous les three de days. De quitter pour trois jours. Because the Khmer Rouge needed to get rid of the Car enemy, the Khmer, se the Khmer Rouge also <coughs> said that if anyone refused to leave, et, uh, les they Khmer would be accused of being enemy and would be shot dead. Quitter, allait déclaré ennemi et serait My abattu. family facing such a situation, Dans une telle situation. and my father Chao Can Dut. Ma famille et mon père, my mother Yud, and the seven children to uh, leave town, we took the road towards Stone Min Chai and we reached Chao Chao and then we head to National Road number 3 and we stayed at Ong Tap Road Pagoda for three months. A soldier of the Khmer Rouge, I cannot recall the name, told my father that you, the 17 April people, uh, to be transferred to live in Sector 4 by Longka. And next morning, all the families who had stayed at Longka Road Pagoda gathered their belongings and children and boarded the vehicle under the watchful eyes of Khmer Rouge. And we went crossing Phnom Penh along National Road Number 5 toward Krolaung. Look, traverser Phnom Penh par la route area, 5 vers and I cannot recall the exact names of the village and commune in Mung district Batambong province. Du village dans le district de Mung, Batambong province. The Khmer Rouge ordered Batambang. my family to live in a village called Cham Roa village in Tumleng cooperative. Dans la coopérative de Tumleng. Cooperative was equivalent to a commune and it was in Mung district, Badenbong province. One month after, my mother, Su A, delivered a baby named Tum Kamsat. My family was forced to eat communally, to work together, and the adults were separated from the children, the males were separated from the females, and the female youth were separated from the male youth, and the children would be left to one side, and we all had to eat separately. Further down, the civil party stated that the Khmer Rouge forced us to work hard in beating them, digging dikes and canals, plowing, transplanting rice, and engaging in plantation for planting potatoes and corns, etc. 
They monitored the activities of the new people as they referred to us as the 17 April people. They monitored us every day, regardless of the time of the day, day or night. Often, we were Souvent, asked by the Khmer rules about our Khmer background, nous sur and the living passé. condition became worse from day to day, as we did not have sufficient jour. food to eat nous and we had to work from 8 to 10 hours per day. De 8 à 10 During par a meeting, jour. they talked about the réunion, principle of the revolutionary politics, and that we should not say anything bad about Anka and that we should get rid of ourselves of the previous regime's fashions of colored clothing and we should dress only in black. Des vêtements de l'ancien régime que nous the devions porter des vêtements noirs uniquement. party applicant that is document D22 31 on page in uh, Khmer, which is 00560008 stated the following. In 1975, my en family were evacuated from Phnom Penh, and all the people had to travel on foot. Tous les From gens that ont day, dû se déplacer à members of my family jour, separated to various places. De ma famille ont été séparés in et December ont dû aller 1975, en 75, my younger sister ma named Ho Samran, Samran, whose husband was of a le mari Thai origin thai and who was a colonel, were taken and killed. Colonel, that is, the husband and wife were killed at Boko Mountain. Kampot province, also in December 1975, my mother-in-law was killed, she was accused of being a feudalist in Batambong province, as for my father, named Pichopan, was killed in the Chibamon district Kampongspu province. One year later, some of my family members died by mid-1970. À la mi my elder brother's family were taken and killed by Anka. They were shot dead Ils ont été after they balle. grabbed their, backgr their backgrounds. Après I would also like to clarify that my husband was a, a Lunar government uh, soldier. He bore the rank of a colonel. Il était Five or six members of his family died in the pool of blood. In late 1977, my, my nephew, who was about 13 to 14 years old, and there were eight of them all together, were taken and killed. In fact, the theory and the application of if you dig the grass, you need to cleanse the roots were turned out to be true. Le principe, uh, Although I starved, I was hungry, I tried <coughs> jour, not to allow them to know about my background. I strived to work ou malgré hard, la fin, plutôt, engaging all de kind of work, et de ne pas as far as I could survive. Aussi dur que possible, Another civil party applicant, Autre that is document D22-3738, and on the Khmer EAN, 0057 stated the following. Voici ce on, y trouve. on 14 April 1975, the Khmer Rouge took control of province. At that time, I fled to Phnom Penh 
vers Phnom Penh. By a military plane of the Lunar regime, en and we paid seven G of gold each to go to Phnom Penh. De I live with my aunts and uncle en near Tansu Theatre. And on 17 April 1975, the Khmer Rouge took full control of Phnom Penh, and at around 2 p.m. that day, the Khmer Rouge made an announcement for all city dwellers to evacuate immediately in order to avoid the bombardment from Americans. My family went on foot day and night and stayed along National Road Number 4 for several nights before we arrived in Lone at a village of unknown commune, but it was located in a Kampuspe province. As a youth, the Khmer Rouge asked me to carry rice for the youth who were being loan at them. I stayed there for one and a half Je months, then my family Wally, was further evacuated by train to Bonte Minche province. Bonte -Minche. And then the base people brought ox carts to take us to Le live in the Kham village, Rohal commune, Prehnit Preh district, Bonte Minche province. They separated me from Ils my family to live in the famille. children's unit to pick the rice and to build dams de and dice and I received one bowl Je of rice during the harvest season and one la récolte, ladle of porridge during the rainy season and I was emaciated. De soupe Some de people who rachitique made minor mistakes were accused, Les gens qui they were la tied se into accuser, a line, killed and buried aligné, in a pit, et and dans une fosse. that was under the pretext that they were sent for education, but in fact de they les had been killed. Se faire éduquer, on les envoyait they se used a phrase that on disait, there is no gain in keeping. On ne gagne rien à vous garder. The next civil party applicant, that is document D22 slash 247 and on the Khmer page 0027 my apology 0042-1489 stated the following on 17 April 1975, when the Khmer Rouge entered Phnom Penh, they forced all the people to leave towns and to leave and to move to the countryside. And if anyone refused, they would be shot dead. As we were scared abattre. on next days, my family forced to leave our house with regret. Nous avons donc été forcés, At that time, regret, de I only I just delivered my baby Je and I was about uh, 10 days after the de delivery and I could not bring any belongings Dix with me. Je rien we pu went emporter. to board the west along National Road number Nous 4 to board our west native west village in Kampongspe province. Along the road, I Sur la route. Made a lot of difficulties as I recently delivered my baby and other children were still young. There was no, encore petit. no water and there was no sufficient food. There was no manger. proper shelter Il for avait us. Pas d'endroit correct pour s'abriter. And often my younger children, as Souvent, well as other children, cried les out of les fatigue as they walked under the Heat of the sand, ils étaient épuisés and as they car ils devaient marcher en pleine chaleur hungry for food. ils étaient affamés i saw a lot of dead bodies vu beaucoup along de cadavres the road. qui jonchaient la route and when i could no longer move my husband de continuer made a made shift cut to pull us and we stayed under the shade of a tree along the road une charrette de fortune nous and when we reached the old Tsevnak market, which is the border between Nakandal and Kampuspe provinces, 
We headed toward the north. À la frontière des provinces de Kampuchea et de Kandahar, nous sommes Udong allés vers market. le nord, vers le marché d'Udong. Because we had to hide our the, the biography of my husband, who was a military police. Le That's why we did not want to go to our native village. When we arrived at the north of Badam Market near Bangkna Pagoda in Odom District, we were asked by the Khmer Rouge to stay there temporarily. We stayed there for about three months, and in September 1975, my family, together with other families who were evacuated from Phnom Penh, were sent further by the Khmer Rouge by vehicle. Toward Pusat province. And upon province arrival at Pusat province, we were assisted in Wat Luong Cooperative in the Bakan district. Le district de Bakan. As they considered us the 17th April people, April. the living condition donc, was terrible. Nous, les There was no proper shelter. Il avait pas As for the food ration, They only distributed Quant à one la can of rice per day for five to six people. De riz par jour que se so there, six in order for us to survive, pour we survivre, had to pick leaves from the wild trees mixed with our gruel. And about two months after, they asked us to eat communally in the cooperative, and even it became even more. Et c'est devenu encore plus because of the thin gruel and we could une only have one or two little of the gruel. In early 1976, members of my Début family 76, were separated. My séparés. husband was sent to Mon the male's unit and worked far away from the cooperative and my two children. Ronaret and Ronaret were sent to the children's unit and they had to work as adults and they did not engage in any study. And as for myself, since I had young children, I was allowed to Moi, stay in the cooperative. But I could not go and look after my children. I had to engage in the agricultural work in building dams, digging canals, de and de I only returned at around, around 9 or 10 p.m. before I could see my children soir, who were taken care of by elder women. Occasionally, I saw my husband, de temps en temps, je mon mari. and around July 1976, my husband's unit was transferred to work near the Wat Luong Cooperative where I stayed. But I did not see my husband coming along. Mais je pas vu mon mari One day I saw a man jour, whose name I can recall who worked with my Lui husband avait travaillé avec mon mari. wore my husband's shirt. Et j'ai vu qu'il portait la chemise de mon mari. I asked him for my husband's whereabouts. Je lui où était mon mari. Initially, he did not dare to say anything to me. me parler. But later on, he whispered to me that my husband, whose name was Rod Hall, Rod Hall was arrested by the militia and he was taken and killed et il avait été about a few exécuté. days ago without any reason. Et ce, quelques jours Upon avant, hearing the news, raison. I was shocked. Cette nouvelle, Almost été fainted, atterré, and, but I did not dare ask anything further. Oser poser From that day onward, I lost hope in my life, but I struggled so Mais that I could see the faces of my younger children. De mes jeunes enfants. Due to insufficient food, faute due to lack of medicine, manger, and without proper care, privé de soins adéquats, about four In, period, in the period of about four months, that is from September to environ, December 1976, de my six children died of malnutrition, one after another, until all les les died. Autres, Sometimes two of them died in one month. Parfois, deux eux le même mois. Further down, the Civil Party applicant also stated that the people in the cooperative uh, disappeared subsequently and some died of 
Certains and when my husband and children all died, I almost became crazy. Mort, Another civil party applicant Autre in the document Constitution de Parti Civil, on the Khmer page zero zero five five six eight nine one stated the following before nineteen seventy five I lived near Totempo market in Phnom Penh and further down un peu plus loin voici ce qu'elle dit it reads, on the 17th April 1975, I was at home with my seven children and my husband named Metom, who was still working at the PC Central near the old stadium in Phnom Penh. PC Central, près du vieux at that Phnom time, Penh. I heard again fires and shelling from all directions toward Phnom Penh City and to the main, some of the main areas in Phnom Penh. Venant de différents quartiers de Phnom Penh. As heard on the broadcast and uh, where is other radios radio, I knew that the Khmer Rouge clique who dressed in black with the scarf around the neck et su il des Khmer Rouge into the city and de noir after un krama. Su que eux qui it en became ville. a bit subdued I, heard, I saw les the Khmer Rouge se enter calmé. the bull market vu les Khmer Rouge there were a lot of soldiers there were ils big and small vehicles there were de taille diverse. armored vehicles, Il y avait des and later on, some Khmerus walked on the road, and some were on a vehicle, route, making an announcement on a mobile ma microphone that we instruct fathers, mothers, mothers, brothers, and sisters all to leave the house without les bringing pères, any belongings, and that you would leave only for seven days. Vous ne que pour this jours. is to avoid the American bombardment. Les bombardements américains. The Khmer Rouge used a wooden les board indicating the direction for the people to, to head to that direction, la and we were not allowed to return. At that time, my, I and my seven children evacuated, were evacuated by the Khmer Rouge, and we separated from my husband until today. We forced to leave our house, and while en route, I saw the Khmer Rouge kill people on the spot, as those people disobeys the order to leave their houses. My maison, seven children and myself, together with several other people, walked on foot along National Road number one. Route one. That is the road leading to Nekluen. And we cross a bridge, the Nous bridge number Chiroitang Ao. And we continued our Nous journey. And while on route, I saw people route, died along vu that road number one. Route one. Some died while sitting on a chair, Certains and some corpses were swollen. When we reached Bampe Theatre and Niro Pagoda, we stayed there for seven days. And I saw the Khmer Rouge making an announcement that whoever used to have a rank or you, uh, used to work or have a role in the previous regime, so register their name with Anka, and Anka would send them to engage in their previous job. There was one Khmer Kraum man, whose name I cannot recall, who travels together, together with me, and because of the pitiful situation, vu la situation désastreuse, And in fact, he had no rank or position. Et en fait, il n'avait aucun rang. Et en fait, il n'avait aucun rang. 
mais And vu la situation désastreuse, il s'est inscrit. J'ai aussi vu quelqu'un d'autre, un voisin, Troïk, who had uh, some rank, although I did not know exactly des fonctions what rank he was. auparavant, même si je ne sais pas exactement en quoi elles avaient Rats consisté, to register et lui s'est précipité pour s'inscrire, uh, some like, uh, pour aller accueillir Samadek euh, après l'inscription, des centaines de personnes ont reçu des Khmer Rouges l'ordre de bien s'habiller et de s'aligner le long de la route numéro 1. In order to make their trip back to Phnom Penh to welcome some Penh, like oh, accueillir Sam my Dekton. seven children and Mes myself et continued our journey further with other people. Avec Another civil party Autre applicant document. that is document. D22 slash 40 and on 40. page with Khmer ear and Je donne les oreilles en Khmer 00 32 36 06 06 stated the following Voici ce que dit cette on 17 April 1975, le 17 avril 1975, we nous avons été forcés à quitter Phnom Penh and, uh, sous la menace d'armes à feu. The Khmer soldiers les soldats Khmer Rouge nous ont dit Americans would drop que les Américains allaient larguer des bombes the sur la ville et que nous devions partir pour quelques jours in order to avoid pour échapper à ces bombardements. À ce moment-là, j'étais avec mes parents et mes trois enfants à ce moment-là. Mes trois enfants avaient de 8 ans, 4 ans et 5 ans. Il y avait aussi mon frère cadet et ma soeur cadette. A bit further down, that civil, civil party applicant stated Un peu that plus tard, voici ce que dit cette personne. When we arrived at the base, we were en arrivant to engage in heavy dans les bases, work nous avons été contraints to à un travail pénible. Or to clear the nous devions planter des légumes, défricher tous les matins. Je commençais le travail très tôt et je rentrais très tard. Je n'avais pas le temps de me reposer. Nous étions sous la surveillance étroite des miliciens Khmer Rouge. J'avais peur. Quand j'étais malade ou épuisé, je n'osais pas me reposer. Autre document à présent, D22, Slash 35. 35, c'est une autre demande de constitution de parti civil. Je donne les oreilles en Khmer 0032 Stated the Voici ce que dit following. cette personne. Le 17 avril 1975, je vivais à Phnom Penh five sisters and three brothers and avec my mes parents. cinq sœurs mes trois Near frères et mes parents, station, près de la gare ferroviaire. J'étais dans un dortoir réservé aux cheminots. A little bit after noon, un peu après my midi, parents told, uh, us that the mes parents nous ont dit que les soldats Khmer Rouge avaient donné l'ordre de partir provisoirement Americans au motif would que les Américains drop bombs allaient bombarder la ville. A bit further down, Un peu plus loin, she stated je cite, that along the road, the le long de la route, les Khmer Rouges direction that we needed to quelle direction emprunter. And the Khmer soldiers les soldats who carried AK-47 rifles did not hesitate to kill anyone who were traveling and who did not obey their directions or instructions. I clearly called that I saw I witnessed the killing in this question. J'ai été témoin d'exécution de ce type. 
Another civil party applicant Autre in demande document de constitution de parti civil, c'est le document D22-3751. And on Khmer, je donne les URL, page with EAN, my apology, I move to another civil party applicant, je passe à une autre demande de constitution de parti applicant civil, in document D22, document D22. Slash twenty four five one 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 twenty My name omitted, age 63 years old, living in Preytom village to commune, 28th district, Campot province. My husband's name is Catlon, age 65, and we have five children. In 1970, my family lived in Phnom Penh. We Ma were ordinary Penh, workers, and in 1975, when the Khmer Rouge attacked Phnom Penh, my Khmer family and I returned to our native village, and upon village, our arrival, Natal. our family was considered the 17th people, that is, the new people. people. At that time, the Khmer Rouge cadres confiscated all the jewelry that we had, and I did not have any means of raising my children, Je pas eu les and the only means to survive mes was for me to exchange our survivre, clothes with the best people. De troquer mes habits contre autre chose avec le peuple de base. The next civil party applicants that is in document, document D twenty two. Slash seventeen nine four, seventeen ninety four. It's another demand for constitution of the party civil. Les URNs sont zero zero five three cinquante trois five three cinquante trois three four trente quatre. Stated the following. Voici ce que dit cette personne. Which name? Ma pam. In nineteen seventy five, the Khmer Rouge cadres evacuated my mother and my relatives, namely my aunts and uncles and nephews, seven, all, seven of them, to an Longkai village, Rupiangsdai commune, Rumdul district, Swairing province, and they forced my relatives uh, to work extremely hard and when they fell sick, uh, they did not have access to medicine, and they Malade, were given small ration of food uh, because they alleged my relatives of being the 17 Mais April people. Mr. President, I couldn't have uh, many more Monsieur civil Président, parties to uh, present here, but uh, the next civil party, D22, Constitution de part civil slash 34, 61. Mais je passe au document D22 Relevant IAN in Khmer 00566392 In this uh, civil party <coughs> form it reads Dans cette three days following the 17th of April 1975 I was forced by the Khmer Rouge uh, to leave Phnom Penh City. We had to march out of Phnom Penh City along National Road number 5 and we had to cross the river somewhere around kilometer 6 and we were not allowed to bring any belongings uh, with us because the Khmer Rouge told us that we would leave for only three days in order that they could reorganize the city and those who resisted leaving the city were um, 
threatened at gunpoint, and some of them were also killed along the street as well. So I was uh, forced uh, to follow um, along the street. And I had to walk all the way to Skun and Jihai, and then finally I reached Vihir Sur commune, Chak Kandal district, Kandal province. And the journey took me around 15 days. When I reached Vihir Sur village, uh, I and my sister live with our relatives by the name of Khem Nieng for five days, and then my relatives asked uh, them to leave uh, the place to Krochma district. When we reach uh, Krochma, they evacuated us uh, and assembled us with other 17 Afro people. And a, a few days after that, uh, they sent us to a new location by the name of Chumlu, which was uh, widespread with malaria over there. In Chumlu commune, malaria. there were around 100 houses there. They were full of 17 April people who had been evacuated from other places. And at that time, they ordered my husband uh, to clear the bamboo de uh, forest défricher la forêt de bambou every day and i was asked uh, to collect rice Moi, but as for the food rations uh, we were given only half a tin of uh, rice and it was not sufficient for us and the next assez. civil party prochaine partie civile in document d22 slash 231 relevant ERN in Khmer 00 42 42 This civil party stated that Prior to the 17th of April 1975, my family had lived in Phnom Penh, somewhere north of Orusei Market, near Onko Cinema. I got married to my husband by the name of Ok Chir. He was a former soldier of Lonnol regime, and I was a housewife. We had uh, seven uh, children, uh, five of enfants. them were uh, males and two Cinq were females. Of following the 17th of April 1975, the Khmer Rouge dressed in black entered Phnom Penh. At the time, they shoot guns into the air and they pointed guns at uh, Phnom Penh dwellers, forcing them to leave the city. They evacuated to the countryside on the pretext that we would uh, leave for only a few days. Because of the fear, uh, we had to leave the city um, in complying with their orders, and we had to carry our belongings along because we did not have any means to transport. And we had to leave the city barefooted. We did not have any means to transport at all. We had to march out of the city on foot. And some of my young kids carried some uh, stuff uh, belongs. And we had to march out of the city along with other city dwellers uh, toward the eastern part of the country in complying with their orders. When we reached Nyak Lung, we uh, went uh, through the uh, secondary road uh, uh, in order to uh, go to my husband's uh, hometown. And we, at that time, hoped that we would meet our relatives in Takao province. We had to travel on foot for about two months uh, until we reached the target. We, uh, the journey was horrendous because I had just delivered my baby for the last for, for two months, and we had to travel barefooted for two months under the sunlight, and we did not have sufficient food to eat or water to drink. I felt very pity on my young children because they were crying all along uh, the ways because of hunger 
uh, when we reached my husband's uh, home town in Samrao uh, district, uh, Dakao province, I could not recall the exact location where we were located at that time, but my family were accused of the 17 people approach, and we were uh, discriminated by the base people over there, and as for my relatives uh, from my husband's side also discriminated against us, they did not provide us uh, the same ration of food as uh, the the base people received. The, the next uh, civil party, D22, class 2751, relevant EAN in Khmer 00 556117, stated that on the 17th of April 1975, my family lived in Phnom Penh city. Ma My husband Penh, was a Lonnell soldier. On that day, the Khmer Rouge liberated Phnom Penh, and three days after the liberation, uh, they started to evacuate people out of Phnom Penh city. At that time, the black clothes uh, soldiers uh, shoot into the air, threatening people almost everywhere in the city. In certain instances, they killed people instantly uh, nearby my houses, uh, saying that anyone resisted their order would be killed. Then they continue to announce that those who came from any country villages had to go back to those villages so that uh, the Khmer Rouge organization would uh, reorganize the city. On our journey out of Phnom Penh along National Road number 2 uh, to my home village, I witnessed a lot of swollen corpses and it smelled terrible along the way. I uh, traveled for more than a month uh, in order to reach the place where we were supposed to be located. It was in Oansa village. My family stayed there for three days. Then they continued to send my family to Ta'am village, Grivong district, Takao province. My family stayed there for some times, and then those people call us the contemptible 17, and they force our families to work extremely hard. It was much harder than the base people, and they provided us much smaller ration of food. If uh, they were given one bowl of rice, si we only got nourri, half nous, a bowl nous, of rice, or cruel rather. Uh, pas du riz plutôt, mais du, um, and the Parce civil party also said uh, that her husband were uh, tortured uh, very harshly at Freedom Day uh, before uh, he was brought for execution. The next civil party document, document D-22, Slash five one bar nine a relevant EAN in Khmer zero 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 four nine forty nine stated that in early nineteen seventy six after my father was killed, my family uh, were gathered by the Khmer Rouge soldier on a truck, and we had to leave our village, and we had it for another village. The Khmer Rouge brought a truck, a sea, um, trucks, and they uh, gathered us in different trucks. The new uh, 17 people April people were on certain trucks, and the base people were different trucks. And normally, the 17 people trucks were crowded and crammed. And along the way, uh, on National Road Number 3, uh, to Kampot province, when we reached Boko Valley, there were seven trucks carrying 17 April uh, people, and they turned into the steep 
valley and then they dumped all the seven truck people on the seven truck into the valley and as for the trucks carrying the base people there were three of those trucks and uh, they uh, took them to took me district and my family who uh, were among the uh, base people on the street uh, we were uh, sent to took me district compared province the next civil party, D22-36-23, uh, relevant year and Verin. in Khmer, 0056-78-78. The civil party stated that prior to 1975, I was the London soldier residing in Kotom village and district Kandal province. Up until 1975, when the Khmer Rouge uh, um, conquered the London soldier, I uh, had to uh, give up my job and I had tried to uh, hide my identity. Uh, when the Khmer Rouge uh, took over the power, uh, my family were evacuated, uh, telling us that Anka would organize the country and transform the country into socialism. And they asked the people to move uh, to the northwestern uh, zone of the country. So at that time, our family were forced to move out uh, on foot, and we had to carry our belongings uh, by ourselves uh, without any means of transport at all. And it took us several uh, weeks in order to reach the Tien Chai province. Back then, it was in Battambong province. Uh, we had to leave. Uh, 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 district, and we had to walk along the way to Pung Chnang, and we stopped over there uh, for a few days, and then Anka convened a meeting of uh, both new and old people. And one of the uh, Khmer Rouge cadres um, told us that we had to abandon our self-interest. We had to um, give up our uh, old mentality uh, from the capitalist regime. We had to get rid of the this mentality. Anka would reorganize the society so that we would live in a society of equality. There would not be any poor or rich. We would live in a, a clean socialism. There would not be any exploiting class or we had to uh, give our properties into the collective properties so our society would not have any uh, classes anymore. Uh, we had to work using our labor. We had to do it automatically. We would not create any class or exploiting class or nobody would be identified as rich or poor. So Anka divided people into two groups, one uh, to the uh, Southwest zone, we the other group uh, uh, to the uh, northwest zone, and we, uh, our families, were evacuated to the northwest zone, and we were located in Brisbane, uh, Battambang province. Now it is Battambang uh, province. When we uh, arrived in that village, uh, the base people consider us as the 17 uh, people, 17 Afro people or new people, and Anka at that time, uh, made us work with the base people. Another civil party, D22, slash 1-4, stated that the relevant year and in my 0052-8133, during the rainy season and the um, a transplanting season, we were evacuated to Bakan district of Busat province, and those people were considered the 17 APRO people. They were under surveillance by militia. My family were considered uh, the 17 APRO people as well. Wherever we went, uh, we were under 
uh, control and they ask my relatives uh, again and again to find out what my family background was, particularly what my uh, parents uh, did in the past regime. And uh, he also continued to mention that uh, they were very good at uh, conducting uh, interview or questioning people. Uh, after all, uh, many people were lu into telling the truth. And the Khmer Rouge at that time uh, could find out uh, the, uh, the true backgrounds of people and then they would take uh, those people out in the truck um, away. This is going to be the last um, civil party form concerning the first and second population movement. This civil party document D22 document D22 slash 2470 relevant EAN in Khmer 0055 the civil party stated that following the 17th of April 1975, the Khmer Rouge soldier evacuated my father and my relatives from Phnom Penh, and we were located in uh, Bosait uh, village, Kampung Spu province, which is my father's hometown. When I got to the hometown, the cadres of the Khmer Rouge uh, gathered the 17 April people in one village, that village known as a uh, new village or Pum Thmay, uh, and it was in Bo uh, district of um, uh, Pusat province. This new village was uh, created named, uh, specifically for the 17 April people. And up until the 17, uh, up until November 1976, the Khmer Rouge cadre summoned my father at around six o'clock in the evening, including other uh, 17 April people, uh, they wanted him and other 17 people April to plant potatoes. So they uh, uh, sent uh, the group uh, to plant the potato until uh, 10 p.m. at night, and following the planting of potatoes, après, they uh, de terre, arrested my father and tortured my, my father. Uh, they cut open my father's stomach and ils took his liver and cooked them. And after that, uh, they uh, appointed other militiamen in the village to uh, follow uh, my family members. They told our families that uh, we were from the previous regimes and they actually treated us very badly. And in 1976, they arrested my mother my brothers and myself, and they uh, detained all of us in Trey Opnow, which was known as the uh, region location, and they forced my relatives, my mother, uh, to work uh, very hard, and they never gave us sufficient uh, food, and when we were sick, uh, we were malade, not given any proper medicine other than the de rabbit dung medicine. Les, uh, de la and they uh, beat us, Et and we never had proper shelter uh, to stay in, and they forced us to work de extremely hard, and I... Acceptable. Nous ont forcé à travailler très fort. I still have a four more... Uh, civil party forms relating to the situation at Tulpo Chrei. 
Civil Party B22. Pour tout le portrait, j'aimerais dire. Slash. Euh, donc, j'aimerais proposer le document D22, barre 1079. Khmer IAN. RN en Khmer. Zone zone has moy zero zero five one eight five four one. The civil party stated that in April 1975, the Khmer Rouge soldier took control of Pusat provincial town and they made an announcement in loud speaker to order people to evacuate the city and they also announced for the former officials of the previous regime and doctors and teachers also and they would ask those they ask those people to uh, identify themselves and came up uh, to see uh, them the uh, fathers of the civil party were summoned to a meeting in Pusat Provincial Hall, and then uh, when he went there, uh, he was taken on a truck and he disappeared. And as for the wife of uh, this victim, were also uh, killed uh, along with uh, her children in early 1977. Another civil party, D22. Slash one five two nine. Relevant year and in Khmer. Khmer. Zero zero five three. Zero zero four three. Ban This civil party stated that in early April nineteen seventy five, the Khmer Rouge uh, took control of Bosat province and they announced uh, the civil uh, they announced Les for the civil servants uh, to uh, show up and uh, those uh, civil servants who show up were taken Et on a truck at around uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and those officials were eventually killed at and many witnesses Des saw many uh, dead bodies uh, over there. Another civil party, party civil D22, D22, slash, bar, 2011, Relevant year and in, in Khmer. En Khmer. Zero zero five four. Cinquante quatre. One seven seven zero. This civil party, party also civil stated that on the eighteenth of April nineteen seventy five, the uh, black clothes soldiers, les soldats vêtus de noir, carrying arms, uh, order the people to leave uh, their homes for three days in order to uh, welcome the prince. And as for the former officers, uh, would be taken away for uh, education. Those who uh, signed up. Uh, in the registration form of the Khmer Rouge were taken away in the truck Rouge, and they were eventually killed et because there were so many dead bodies found at Tul Poutre in Bakan district, Posat province. The next civil party, D22, slash 1557, The civil party mentioned party in the victim information form on the relevant year and page 0053-0391. In 1975, he was a former commando 
soldier with Bastien Bakan district Bosat province. When the Khmer Rouge took over, he surrendered and he were asked uh, to leave the village. And we were at that time uh, the Divided uh, into two groups, uh, one was the uh, 17 APRO people, the other was the base people, and we were constantly asked uh, to uh, tell Anka whether or not they were the officers of the previous regimes. One of uh, his brother was a former captain of the soldier, were taken away uh, to Turpo Jrai, and he was executed over there. I would like to now raise another uh, civil party which I have not mentioned uh, before, uh, civil party D22 slash 32, EN00279757. The civil party stated that prior to 1975, my family lived in Orsay, around Orsay Market. When the Khmer Rouge entered Phnom Penh, the Khmer Rouge evacuated my family to somewhere around Borei Moroi Knong in Pochen Tong. In 19, in late 19, it is not clear. De uh, my family de were again evacuated to, uh, from Pochentong to Bakan district, district Bosat province. province. In Bakan district, my Dans elder sister Bacan, were killed by the Khmer Rouge soldier. As for my younger sister, she, was, Rouge, she cadet, died because of disease. Elle est morte de maladie. I saw the dead body of my sister and her body was stolen and in 1978 my mother had to uh, steal the uh, food for the pig to uh, give to my uh, mother and my uh, father was then found stealing this and he was uh, called for uh, re-education. But then uh, he was released and then he went there again uh, to steal uh, this food and then when he was coached again he was uh, frog march my fathers and my mother for execution. Uh, before uh, they killed my father, they uh, asked my father to kneel down in front of a pit uh, before they uh, killed uh, him. And in, before uh, they were killed, uh, one of the Khmer Rouge soldiers asked uh, their partitions that uh, they would uh, he would uh, killed my father and my uh, de tuer mon père? at that times my uh, my mother asked uh, me uh, to Donc, uh, stay away from the uh, Khmer Rouge and uh, they my mother did not want me to stay around, but then I ah, could not have watching, and my uh, and eventually I was wrapped by all the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier. And then when I went back, uh, one of the militiamen in my village asked me to uh, run away and join other cooperatives. And then I uh, could. I, I decided to escape to another cooperative, but then uh, they found out uh, that I uh, was living with other cooperatives, and one of the militiamen went uh, to uh, find me in that cooperative, and then they threatened me for my life, and then they continued to stay uh, with me and... Uh, all along uh, the period. Mr. President, uh, that is all for the victims, uh, uh, civil parties, uh, whose 
statement was recorded in the victim information form. Uh, of course, we have many other civil parties, but I don't think that the times uh, permits me to raise all of those uh, civil parties for uh, the proceeding before us now, the president. Thank you. Uh, the time is now appropriate for the lunch adjournment. The chamber will adjourn now and resumes at 1.30 this afternoon. And this afternoon, the chamber will uh, hand over to the defense teams, beginning with the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia uh, to make observation or objection to the key documents presented by the prosecutors, as well as the lead co-lawyers for the civil parties who have presented uh, numbers of documents concerning the uh, population movement phase one and phase two, as well as the execution site at Tour and also the um, document concerning the military structure of the Democratic Cambodia presented by the uh, lead co-lawyer for the civil parties this morning. And the chamber may grant uh, the opportunity for the uh, defense team uh, to raise other documents as well as indicated in uh, Memo of the TC, E223 slash 3, paragraph 4, paragraph as well as the, the uh, document concerning uh, as for the uh, document concerning the JCE, uh, that will be heard at an appropriate time in the future. The court is now adjourned. Il en sera question ultérieurement. Suspension de l'audience.